Hi, and welcome to Outwell. In this film, I'm going to talk you through some of the features of our Yosemite Falls. The Yosemite Falls is a large tunnel design tent which is aimed to sleep up to seven people and it falls into our ambient collection. The fly sheet that we use on this tent is our Outex 100% ripstop cotton. Now, this material is very, very durable and very, very long lasting thanks to it being ripstop. It's also naturally waterproof, although we coat the outside of it to ensure that water will bead away off of the tent. And it's also very good at reacting to the different types of environment that it's in, whereby if it's very warm outside, you'll be kept very comfortably cool inside. And vice versa, if it's cold outside, this will actually keep you a little bit warmer inside as well. We can see on the fly sheet here, all the way down the sides, that we have these large ventilation panels. There they are, obviously, to allow nice, cool, fresh air into the tent. If it gets a little bit too chilly, we can get rid of these very simply by taking the Velcro tabs away and pushing down on the ventilation. Some other features out here, we'll see we have the floating guy line system. On here, we can see that there are two parts to the guy lines. So we have the brown guy line at the top, which ties in very nicely and tonally with the tent. And at the bottom, we have the luminous part to make sure that we're not going to trip over them. Each guy line has its own retainer, so when it comes to taking down the tent, we can take the guy line out the ground, wrap it up in our hand and pop it in here, so that the next time we use the tent, the guy lines are very easily accessible. Now the frame on this tent is very unique. Um, the poles themselves are all alloy poles, so they're very strong but very lightweight. <coughs> and the way these poles actually fit into the tent, they start on the outside and then they are transferred automatically to the inside of the tent, giving you these flat pole sleeves. Now what that means is you have a very sleek design and it actually makes the tent a lot more stable in high wind conditions too. You'll notice down the side of our tents we have these very large PVC windows. Each one of these windows is a tinted window so therefore serves two key functions. The first is that the sun will reflect off of these windows and away from the inside of the tent so that should keep you a little bit cooler and more comfortable and the second is obviously that you'll get far better privacy within the tent. When we step around to the front, we'll see here that we have this very large open porch area. Now, we obviously have the door rolled away at the moment, but this door can be fully closed and it has tinted windows on there with curtains behind it. But very, uh, a very nice feature of this door is that you can actually zip it off completely if you don't want it here, creating a sort of front opened awning. In this front space here, we'll find that we have a very, very tough and durable uh, ground sheet. The ground sheet is a tarpaulin PVC coated ground sheet, so like I say, really, really heavy duty and totally waterproof as well. This ground sheet zips in at three sides and is bathtub in the styles around the edges, so it's going to keep out drafts and any bugs and things like that as well. Other features that we can find in the front here is these drying rails. We have one on either side, which is obviously going to be very handy for your towels or any beachwear and things like that. And these are the mesh ventilation panels that we mentioned on the outside. When we step back into the main area of the tent, it becomes very apparent that this is a very spacious tent. I'm 195 centimetres tall and I've got plenty of head height here and there's lots and lots of space in here for tables and chairs and furniture and that sort of thing as well. The front area and the back area are separated by this large dividing wall here and on there we have some mesh panelling again just to help with ventilation and there's also one on the door when that gets closed over too. In this area, the ground sheet is the exact same material that we talked about at the front, but rather than it being zipped in on three sides, it zips out on all, uh, on all sides, rather, and that's going to help you pack away the tent a little bit easier, and it's also going to make cleaning the ground sheet a lot more simple as well. When we step back here, we can see that this tent has a built-in wardrobe. There's a hanging rail in, in the back, and at the top we have this mesh storage unit here. Towards the back of the tent is where you'll find the sleeping compartments and as I mentioned earlier on, this tent sleeps up to seven people. Now there's a couple of different options for the bedrooms at the back here. We can either have it as just one large compartment with all the dividers open or we can split it into three separate bedrooms by simply closing over these sheets and zipping them closed. Some of the features of the bedrooms you'll see at the top here, we attach them to the fly sheet with our wave shaped hanging point system. That takes off. Uh, any stress points away from the seams of the bedrooms. The bedrooms themselves are made of a 100% breathable polyester 
we have some storage pockets on the outside as well as on the inside and there's also some low light windows in these bedrooms to enable you to look outside without having to get up out of bed. You'll also see that we continue the ventilation across the back here as well, giving you a much more comfortable night's sleep. A nice feature of these bedrooms is that if you want to, with them being universal bedrooms, we can actually get rid of one of these bedrooms completely, simply just by unclipping one side like so. And if we did that all the way around the front and all the way around the back, and we take these zips in the middle here and undo them, then we could actually completely drop this side down and roll that away, leaving you with one large bedroom at the back. Just above my head, we have a lantern hanging point in a central location here. And then coming away from that, we have Velcro tabs there where you can keep your cables. And that runs down to where we zip the ground sheet in. So you can bring your electrics into your tent without having any doors open. Speaking of doors, we actually have two side entrances to this tent as well. And both of these have mesh panels attached to them so that you can roll the doors up on the outside and drop the mesh, have nice cool fresh air in here and keep those bugs out as well. So optional extras for this tent include a carpet for the living space back here. There's also a carpet available for the front area and that's all the features of our Yosemite Falls.